Hey guys, Luton here. So welcome back for a thought for the day. I haven't done any of these for a very long time, years in fact. And today I'm thinking about AT mines, something which maybe doesn't really get talked about very much, but AT mines are actually a very, very powerful tool, except that often people use them in the wrong way. And that's really what I want to talk about and show for you today. So this is uh, Aras, Battlefield 5, with my squad. We're playing Conquest. And we've basically come up to D from A. You can see that the enemy team are dominating us. And my kind of real mantra for Battlefield these days is, you know, just do your best. You know, do the best as your squad. Do your best as an individual. Because there's little you can do to really worry about the rest of your guys. If they get it together, fantastic. If not, then whatever. Now, right there, we spotted a tank coming in and infantry coming in. So we know they're on the way here. Drop some AT mines. But here's the thing. What I want to highlight for you guys is this is really the kind of best time to use AT mines. Often you see people kind of dropping them around on roads just all over the place, like between areas. Now, that can work and that can be a fine. But the best way to use AT mines, in my personal experience, is when you are actively defending a position not when you're inactive like when you leave a base and you just leave the AT mines behind but when you're actively on a point you can see there that tank coming in it went exactly where I predicted that it was going to we know where it's coming from that field that's the easiest route for it to come in onto the point and it drives straight over those AT mines now why do I say put it on an active point instead of just anywhere at any time like a road? Well a couple of reasons but they're all pretty straightforward and obvious but as I often find that's the most helpful thing that you can tell people are the most obvious things. So basically when a tank is driving around, a tanker is driving around, a transport guy is driving around, most of the time when they're not taking active fire or they don't have anything to shoot at, they're going to be obviously much more aware of their surroundings and their road, or they should be anyway. They should be looking for these kind of things. But when you're on an active point, and by that I mean, you know, shooting, engaging other enemy, they're going to be much more focused on looking for enemy than they are looking for AT mines on the ground. And that's why it's worth saving your AT mines and trying to deal with them in this kind of close quarter combat way in and around a point. You know, even better if you see like a tank kind of just coming around the road, maybe sort of 10 to 20 meters away from you, and then you run out, throw them down like this, and then go back. Now the reason why I put them back on that same position is because behind me here is quite a big open space. You know, there's like the, the farm yard, right? But as this point right here, as they're coming up and into the point, that's another good thing with mines, you see, is to put them right on the crest of a hill. Because, again, it's all about line of sight. As a tank driver and even the front gunner in a tank are coming up over a hill, they're not going to be able to see, they're not going to have line of sight to see the crest of a hill as you come up over it. So it's much more likely that they're going to come straight over and drive into your mine. So thinking about the position and the placement is really, really helpful. But most of the time, I mean, think about it as well. If you're in an environment where there's lots of debris on the ground or fire on the ground or just, you know, visibility is poor, that's another good situation situation to do that or for example if a tank is coming down a road if for example there's loads of infantry around and people are throwing smoke all over the place it might be worth taking a little chance and jumping out into the road right what the hell is going on my aiming right there <laughs> worth jumping out into the road and uh, dropping some smoke so that um, you know you might be able to place some mines down or if somebody else has done that already just run out and throw them down there I guess the last thing I'll say is that all of these things are fairly circumstantial and a general rule of thumb is going to be to just, you know, use your best judgment depending on the situation, the map, you know, the environment, whatever. But the other thing to think about is that when people think of mines, they tend to always think of them in a kind of real life context, you know, where mines are deployed and then they're just left to wait. But in Battlefield, that doesn't really work because a lot of the time the vehicles are moving around. It's a very active environment. The tankers are actively looking for mines. And also, the mines just sit on the surface. They don't get buried like they do in real life, so you can't see them. So it's much more likely that a tanker or somebody is going to see these mines. And so to that end, you're much more likely to get a kill if you, for example, throw them down ahead of a vehicle that you can see coming in. Another thing you can kind of do is try and bait your enemy in. So right there, I don't know if this is really the reason, but it's just a good example. I killed those two guys and then I kind of come over here. If you were to sort of lay some fire towards the tank, the tank can sometimes be like, oh, I'm going to get that guy. He's not AT. And then that's when they chase after you. That's when they run into the mines because they're thinking more about killing you than what is in front of them. Anyway, there you go. So that's uh, two kills on this point with the tank. And there's another third tank coming in. And then I genuinely didn't have anything left. And that's when we got smashed. We lost the round overall, but, you know, we did our best as a squad. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the thought for the day and uh, more BF stuff coming up very soon. Thanks for watching.